Hey there, dorks! Dorkerific here, and today I'm bringing you a Monday episode of Extreme Minecraft Makeover! You got it! Today is the episode where we, well, we being me, answers questions that you guys send me over Twitter. Um, yeah, let's get right into it because I've got quite a few that are really good. So, first off, we have one from Patty Flatley, and he asks, are you planning slash thinking about some custom maps with other YouTubers like Chim or Wolf? Um, this is, uh, I would love to do that, but the thing is, time. Time is always an issue, and the more popular YouTubers really don't have a whole lot of time to be spending just doing custom maps, but... I mean, I wouldn't, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm, I could say that. I could ask Wolf if he wants to do one, but I know he does a lot of custom maps with Lucklin, and I don't really know Chimney Swift at all, so yeah, I might could ask him. He, well, he's probably watching this, so yeah. You want to do any custom maps, Wolf? <laughs> but yeah, that's about it for that, because I don't know. I'm not really into the whole custom map thing, I don't think. I've... I've done a few, but I just haven't really gotten the knack for it, I guess. But, next question comes from Zatlin101, who is Jonas, is his name. And he asks, what do you prefer to do in Minecraft? Now, I asked him what he meant by this question, and he's basically said, do you like to build, do you like to explore, do you like to grief people? <laughs> and... I like to build and explore. I mean, I really, really, really love building in Minecraft, but building for very long can get really boring. So I, I, I mix it like I mix it up with exploring and survival, and you know, it's just I gotta have different flavors because having the same thing over and over and over again gets really boring really fast, and I don't want that to happen. So I, I tend to mix and match it up. I'm a little bit of both, I guess. Okay, next question comes from Christina RTC, and she asks, "What is your favorite kind of gift?" Um, I'm not really that. I don't really. Well, what am I trying to say? I like receiving gifts, but it's I don't have to. Like, I don't. Ugh. I don't really know how to answer this. <laughs> um, anything that has sentimental value, like anything that's handmade or was made especially for me, or art is another really thing that I love to receive. I love getting fan art and things that you guys send me. I absolutely love it. And yeah, I guess just anything that's creative and that has sentimental value, I would say. All right, the Eric Santos, Eric, is who I've known for pretty much my whole YouTube career, asks, if we had a, zo a zombie invasion, what would be the first thing you would, first thing to run through your mind? Probably, oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, I can't even imagine that. That's some scary stuff. Um, I probably would be looking for my car keys. <laughs> because just to get the hell out of there. But yeah, I honestly have no clue how to answer that. The baby Cam asks, cats or dogs? Um, I've always been a dog person. And we've always had cats and dogs, so it's kind of mix and match, but they're to two totally different personalities and all of that. Um, cats are really nice. I really, I've had a cat for pretty much my whole life. I've also had many, many dogs. Um, I would say I'm a dog more, I lean more towards dogs, but just because they're so, they become like a friend to you. It's, it's totally really confusing to explain and it's just like they're your companion and 
I don't know. It's it's odd, I guess. I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's just really tough for me to explain myself. <laughs> but yeah, I tend to lean more towards dogs, but I love my kitty cat just the same. Mama Dork wants to know, what was the first thing you bought with your own money? Now, the very first job I had, I was right around 16. I just got my first car. So I'm going to say gas money. Like I bought gas with my, <laughs> that sounds really weird. I bought petrol, like you guys in England and Europe say. But yeah, I bought gas money for my car. Or gas money? I bought gas money? I bought gas for my car, I would say. I'm, I have no idea, but I'm just going to guess that that's what I bought. <laughs> Sonic Swifter Love wants to know what type of weather slash, or well, storm do you like the most or dislike? Okay, type of weather that I really like would be really, really bright, sunny fall day where the, the trees are just so pretty. Oh my god. And like orange and brown and yellow and gorgeous. Um, if like weather type, I guess I really like it when it rains. Like I can remember a while back it was raining like freaking pouring down. Like you couldn't see very far in front of you and it was really warm and there was no lightning or thunder or anything and I, I think it was like at night too and I just, I went outside and sat in it. It felt amazing to sit in the rain like that. It, it was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, um, my, the weather that I don't like are like tornado weather. I cannot stand tornadoes because they are terrible and it just the scare of one is absolutely ridiculous um we've gotten pretty close to getting hit with tornadoes in Alabama and it is not fun at all so yeah those are the two favorite weathers <laughs> or two well one favorite and one not so favorite <laughs> all right I craft miner wants to know do you have chicken in the furnace? There's always chicken in my furnace. <laughs> uh, Poe Joey asks, what led you to your fascination of pandas? I honestly have no idea. They're just so freaking cute. And I wouldn't really call it a fascination. It's more just like, I think they're freaking adorable. And I'm in love with them, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. I think they're just so cute and that whole I can remember watching that little that YouTube video where the panda sneezes and just like oh my god going in like a giddy girl fit because it was so freaking cute but yeah I'm gonna say I guess that video <laughs> I'm not really sure where it come from all right here's a serious one and I might get emotional but I'm going to pull through. Casper underscore ST wants to know, what's the hardest thing you've had to do? Um, I watched, I looked at this question on Twitter and it really got to me to thinking about, about my grandmother and she passed away from lung cancer back in in 2002 I believe and we were really close we would go camping we would go to Florida we go to Gulf Shores oh it was she was we were really close together we were really close and um, yeah saying goodbye to her was really tough for me and that's all I'm gonna say because <laughs> I don't want to cry Okay. Shiv at 79 Shiv 70 or 97 wants to know what's your favorite comfort food? I'm going to have to say a nice roast like beef roast and the way we cook it like every Sunday my mother would cook us a beef roast and green beans and mashed potatoes and she would um cook rolls if we had them and it was just so good so I'm gonna have to say that um I 
don't know how to say your name. In Insane-y? Sane-y? <laughs> You'll, I'm gonna put it on the screen. But if you could play only one game for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Um, that's kind of tough for me to answer because I don't like just playing one game, but I'm gonna have to say Minecraft. I remember getting asked this question a long time ago and I think I answered it so along the lines of Minecraft, but I wanted every texture pack, every custom map, every mod that there was, like to just download it on my computer so that I can play Minecraft. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that. Stresses W wants to know if you knew the world would end tomorrow, what would you do today? Wow, you guys are hitting me with really tough ones today. <laughs> um, I would probably spend the entire day with my family. I would get all of them together and just party. Because <laughs> I'm a big family person. And yeah, I think that's, that's a good enough answer, right? <laughs> Dazura wants to know, are you creating your own website? If you are, how long, how far along are you? I've thought about creating my own website, but I have no idea where to start. So yeah, I have not started at all. But yes, I want to create my own website. But yeah, I've just been lagging behind on that. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> All right, Ruth Ann six one four wants to know, what is the key to surviving middle school? The key to surviving anything is friends and family. Rely, make some good friends, girl, and rely on them to help you through because school and middle school and all of that is hard, and you just gotta pull through. I mean, you need support in what you're doing and friends are there for you you need to find some friends that will be there for you and yeah i believe that's all for that one let's see is that the rest last one yep that is gonna be the last question for today you guys i hope you enjoyed this episode i know i love doing these and i love letting you guys peer into another part of me that sounded really bad but yeah I guess the emotional and other into the person behind the screen or behind the video if you want to say that but yeah I will talk to you guys later and always remember to keep it dorky bye guys <laughs>